The, the building was um, quite old. The last restoration was done in eight, 1989. So what we've done is we've brought the offices up to the modern day standard for everybody with LED lighting and bits and pieces like that and all the data infrastructure as well. And also we've actually insulated the rooms because it's a stone building to help with the, the space for the tech people inside. I imagine that because of the historic nature of the building and the heritage value, uh, there's a lot of uh, sensitivity when it comes to restoring a building like this. That, that's correct, yes. While we were doing the, um, some excavation for some cables, we found a um, Second World War air raid shelter. Hence, it changed a lot of our projects around and delayed us a little bit. It was overcome. The, the air raid shelter is still there, but it's available via different access. Uh, and one of the features uh, in the restoration has been the internal railings. That's correct, yes. The, um, the floor de lis within the old railings were removed were cut out of there and installed into the new railings that you can see now. You've been restoring this building throughout the pandemic and through Covid. Tell us about any logistical issues that you had to deal with. Um, obviously we had to follow the, the protocol for the Covid and things like that. It's had an effect on getting materials from the UK. Obviously everything gets delayed and there's no manufacturers in the UK available to send materials. So we've, we had to uh, overcome that by sourcing locally as well. What uh, would you say about the finished result? I'm really impressed with it. I really like it. So I'm proud to have worked on the, on the project.